It is a great pleasure to be in Paris to celebrate the last stage of our gourmet adventure. Paris is a joy to my senses. I like to revisit my favorite street and take time to sit at a typical Parisian cafe to savor a croissant. Right in the heart of Paris since 1760, the Grand Véfour is an historic restaurant and a gem of the 18th century decorative art. Napoleon Bonaparte enjoyed dining here. Guy Martin, the owner, is one of the most poetic and passionate French chefs. For me, the cuisine is really a language. It has no tabou, it has no frontiers. These are notes like music. What is really important is respect. Respect du produit, respect du paysan, de l'éleveur, du cultivateur, du pêcheur. À moi de donner le meilleur après avec ma cuisine. These dishes are sophisticated, with the vegetables often the star. My dish of roast monkfish with radish and black rice is music to my palate. This artistically presented veal dish with lemongrass and pine nuts is perfectly cooked. His desserts are fruity and playful. This chocolate box filled with summer fruits and sorbets adds to the magic of this place. Et quand les clients repartent avec le sourire, c'est le plus beau compliment de la terre pour moi. This superb last meal in France in such an amazing setting has brightened my heart. Very good. The raspberry millefeuille is a classic French dessert. First, I lay some puff pastry on a baking tray lined with baking pepper. I prick the pastry with a fork, dust it with caster sugar, then bake at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. Next, I press down a bit with a rack to help prevent the pastry from rising too much and cook it for five minutes more. I then remove the rack and turn the pastry out onto a second baking tray lined with baking pepper. I dust the top of the pastry with icing sugar and bake in the oven at 250 degrees. I cut the cold pastry into three long strips, then cut each strip into six equal rectangles. I pipe a little bit of cream in the center of two of the pastry rectangles. The cream won't make the pastry soggy because it is caramelized. I garnish with raspberries, then place one on top of the other. Top with an ungarnished pastry rectangle and dust with icing sugar. These millefeuille aux framboises are so good. It has been a privilege for me to present Taste Le Tour 2016 from so many stunning French regions, but also from Switzerland and Andorra. My native country is blessed with climates and terroir, allowing the cultivation and making of amazing foods. It was a joy to meet creative modern chefs that constantly take the art of French cooking to new dimensions. I am so grateful to all the dedicated artisans I met and I salute them for living with me and forgettable taste memories. So until next year, merci, vive la France and au revoir.